Hi everyone, and how are you doing? You alright? I hope you're doing very well. Uh, I am, um, and even more so now because I'm going to enjoy a wonderful shave. Can't beat it. So welcome to the weekend shave. Um, I hope the lighting is okay. It's a bit funny. Sometimes you get these days where, um, or mornings, where they... Um, the lighting comes through the window funny. I got lights, but anyway, hopefully you can see the shave quite clearly. So, what are we going to use today? Well, I'm going to use a bit of an aggression. And that is the Fat Tip Piccolo. Um, I've got the Fat Tip Grand, and they're both exactly the same head. Exactly the same head. The only difference is the Piccolo and the Grand have different handles, as you may know. Um, what's my favourite out of the two? Out of the Piccolo and the Grand, it would have to be this, the Piccolo, because it's heavier. The handle is solid, and the Grand isn't. Anyway, what's inside it? I've just gone for a bog standard Wilkinson sword, and that's a brand new blade. And as I say, it's non well, I didn't say it's a non adjustable razor, quite heavy, short, um, open comb, a proper open comb, and quite an aggressive razor. So I don't need an aggressive blade. Um, and that's the Wilkinson sword, it comes like that. Or if you want to see the, uh, the blade itself, it comes wrapped. Like that. Put that back in there. There we go. Brush, well, that's been soaking since I've had a shower. The Omega Ball Brush, and there's a good stiff knot on this, and that'll give you a clue maybe because I'm going to use the Palm Olive Classic Shaving Soap Stick. And I'm going to lather, sometimes I lather off the face, but today I'm going to lather off the soap itself off the puck. So I'll just get get rid of that water. And uh, so I hope you're having some fantastic shaves and you've had a good week and even more so having a good weekend. And I must apologize for my Mother's Day video because I scared a lot of people in America. <laughs> I didn't realise that Mother's Day is in May. Is it the second Sunday in May, I think? So, uh, sorry about that. I didn't mean <laughs> a few people had a heart attack as they were watching it. I forgot my mother. <laughs> so, um, lather up nice and gentle. Gather it. Oh, come on. This is a classic, a very, very inexpensive soap in the UK. About 50 pence for one of them. And it lasts and lasts. It's a lovely soap to work with, to create lather. And it's, a, it's, a, it's an old classic. You know, that's good enough for me. It's an old classic. It's been around for years. And many generations have used that. And that scent is so memory triggering it's unbelievable there's the so off we go and it'll get better as we go along just come out the shower i'm looking forward to this very inexpensive oh the scent is fantastic And when you enjoy a scent, and you haven't used it for a long, long time, they're better, you enjoy them more. Oh, that's lovely. You can lather up any hard soap with any badger brush, obviously, or a, you know, a synthetic, whatever you want, ball brush, any ball, any brush at all. But it just takes a bit longer with a softer bristle, that's all, to gather 
the um, soap of the puck. Well, I think so anyway. Right, should we go? Rinse that, empty that, and off we go. So I'm going to go down the sides just to take the edge off this new blade because this is an aggressive razor. Listen to this. Very gently. See that? Just touching the skin. And that's very important if you're starting out or if you have any sort of irritation. A lot of people say the neck area. Um, don't be afraid it won't cut because it will. Just gently let the razor and the blade let it do its thing. So, um, can't sit here. Yeah, that's fine. That's lovely. And as I say, the scent is fantastic. Maybe sit back a bit, you can see me better. Yeah, you can feel the bite of this. Not an aggressive blade, but the razor, as you may know, contributes to its aggression. And thank you for all the questions so far on my Q&A video, my questions and answers video, previous to this. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing the video and the questions I've had is overwhelming so far and it's, it's only been up, I think, a couple of days or three days, is it? So, uh, amazing. See, I'm going very carefully and look at that. We're picking it up, it's a bit of a, the class is a weeper, but no pain, no pain. Nice relaxing Sunday shave. Let the world carry on, and then you take your time. Fantastic. Right, I'm gonna just dip the brush under water and back to the soap and just start again. I, it, it seems awkward maybe doing it this way, but this is the way my dad did it. And I don't know, it's just it's nice to follow in footsteps. It's, a, it's a reliving, you know. That's how I do it, just any old way, as long as it gathers up the soap. That's lovely. Green soap. But it lathers up white. And just for those that want to know, I'll put water on there now and watch this. So if you like it soapy and wetter, it, it'll do that as well. This is really classic shaving. Well, in my world, and in yours, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> so.
So, um, yeah, as I say, I'm looking forward to doing the questions and answers. And as you will may know or may not know, the video after this will be the shaved end tour. And I will show you a few little items. Fantastic. Aggressive but very very comfortable and somebody asked in a comment or a PM uh, message a while ago um, how do I adjust so easily to different types of razors so it could be a a very mild razor, it can be a very aggressive razor, long, heavy, light, every sort of... That's where, when I come into the bathroom, I find it important to come into this bathroom with just this razor in my mind. Not comparing it, not judging it. Look at it, feel it. You can feel the aggression and just work with that. Just take into, into consideration it is aggressive and you just have to just sort of gently guide it and the shave will come as you go. That's lovely. Oof, that's nice. Very warm. Oof. Someone's put the heat in on. And say, oh, oh yeah, oh, oh. can you see? Maybe not in this light. Tulips with some, I forgot what they call these now, pussy willow, is it? Or something, anyway. You can see the sun coming through. Can you see them? I'll tell you, I won't, I don't do this normally, but I'll do it for you. There you go, tulips. From Amsterdam. <laughs> No, they're not really. Right, I'm not going back to the puck. I'm going to try just under the tap, just for a minute, for a second. And there should be enough in the brush for the final pass. Um, yeah, and you know, I'm glad people uh, like the idea of the Q&A, questions and answers. And what I'll do is, you know, if people enjoy them that much, I'll do them every now and again, just to sort of keep up to date and uh, for your enjoyment, hopefully. Look at that. Go on, eh? Classic. This is classic DE shaving. You wouldn't, I told you. You don't show, you don't go to the posh parts of London. I'll offer somebody one of them. No, 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 no. Would you care to try some palm olive? No, no, wrong accent. Would you care to try some... <laughs> See, that's why I'm not an actor. Would you like to try some palm olive? Palm olive? What on earth is that? And his butler would say, well, well it's the, um, it's a quite well-known uh, shaving soap, sir. Been around for generations. Well, I've never seen it. That's because you only shave with Tale of Old Bond Street, sir. And um, G.O.F. Trumper and D.R. Harris alike. What do you mean, who uses this? The peasants? Yes, sir, the, uh, the peasantry use this, sir. Well, take it away. Or have you taken to the tower? How dare you? Damn peasant. 
It should have on the box palm olive peasantry soup. <laughs> I wouldn't insult it, would you? No way, good soap. Uh, <laughs> the shaving snob. How dare you? Very light. Last pass against the growth. So here we go. Fat tip piccolo, open comb, non adjustable. Aggressive razor. Wilkinson sword, brand new blade, but working a treat. Hence, that's good slickness. That's a good sound, silence. Just a bit there. And we'll do a pick up pass now. No irritation. Just do the moustache area, very gently. I enjoy these shades. few there now. That's going over it too much you see. But I don't mind them. It means I've gone as close as I dare. <laughs> right against these you know these pickups. Hear this. Excellent slickness, actually. See the weepers? And that is lovely. Oh, just a... There, listen to this now. When you feel it, listen. Listen to this. Just perfect in it. Oh, lovely! Very happy with that. So I just rinse off with warm water. And uh, away we go. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, 
the scent, lovely scent, palm olive, very clean soapy scent. Thayer's unscented for a reason. Cologne today is going to be great. No, you don't. Somebody asked, do you ever feel stinging or irritation when you put this on? Never. No, at all. That is lovely. So while that goes off, um, what are you having for dinner today, Paul? Well, today is going to be roast beef, which I put oil and black pepper on, roast it, um, boiled potatoes with roasted potatoes, Yorkshire pudding, you must think he always has Yorkshire. <laughs> um, we're having carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, and lashings of gravy. So, potatoes, roast potatoes, roast beef with black pepper, um, Yorkshire pudding, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, and gravy. I'm looking forward to it. Enjoy cooking. Right then, now that's gone off, we're going to use, do you know, this is my, I put it in here, glass bottles. Um, Pinaud Clubman Special Reserve Cologne, or Eau de Toilette. Those cologne. Slight tingle. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey? Woohoo! Special reserve. See, this is like going back in time for people. This would have been a. I'm going to have to spot more. And people ask again, why do you put it in glass? Well, I think it was a very kind lady, Christina, who watches with her husband, James. And I hope I got that right, and hello to you both. Uh, when she knew I'd bought this, she said it comes in a plastic bottle, but you'd be better decanting it to glass. Um, we're lucky in the UK, a, a majority of our aftershaves and colognes does come in glass bottles. Um, Maybe nothing would happen in the in the plastic bottle, but you're when you put it in glass, you are sure no, nothing will taint the odor of the cologne. It just keeps better. Um, oh come on, eh? <laughs> Don't get no better than that. Bulldog, who is? No, no, this is bulldog. Skin care for men, sensitive moisturiser. I've also got the, as you will have seen in a previous video, Bulldog uh, Sensitive Aftershave Balm. Both do probably similar things, just a branding difference. Oh, this is, this, this <laughs> cologne is lovely. Oh, God, blimey. Windows are open, is it? No. People think I'm nuts. He's nuts in that. He's nuts in it. Laughing away to himself in the bathroom. <laughs> right. You understand me, don't you? I hope. <laughs> Razor. <laughs> Fat tip piccolo. Short but deadly. <laughs> Short, heavy, solid, non adjustable, open comb. Aggressive razor, slight overhang on the blade. Um, with these, or this one, I have to now and again. I have to. You have to make sure the blade's lined each side straight, because sometimes the blade can sit as you screw it tight, can just move a bit, and it's out of sync. And you don't want it to be with an aggressive razor. You want it as straight as you can, as you can see there. Hopefully, so um, good razor, aggressive. Straight, well, give me a weeper, see? But nothing, nothing major at all. 
it gives me a clue that I've gone as far as I can. <laughs> gone to the danger line. Um, and that's fantastic. Wilkinson sword, brand new blading. And we use the classic palm olive shave stick. What can you say? The price of that stuff is no wonder it's still going today. It's a classic shaving soap, especially here in the UK. Dads, granddads, uncles, just generations have used it and it works. And very inexpensive and I still can't stop buying it and I got stocks of it in there. <laughs> rinsed off, sorry, rinsed off with water and then used the Thayer's unscented witch hazel. And then during that we had a bit of a look at the tulips from Amsterdam with a pussy willow. I take it if I'm wrong, I'm sorry Mrs H. Put me right. Omega ball brush, hard knot, good brush for hard soaps, blue handle, and there was the blades. And then the Pinout Clubman Special Reserve. Do not drink it, even though it sounds like a drink. Skin only, fantastic. Old fashioned wonderfulness. Wonderfulness. <laughs> my own yeah bulldog <laughs> hide my face me yeah that bulldog bulldog skincare for men sensitive moisturizer good stuff there and widely available in supermarkets in the UK or grocery stores as you call it in America and I think that's about it damn it do you mean to say the shave's over yes sir it's uh, it's finished now Thank God for that. Bloody shaving. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you're still here, you need help as well. I think. We'll all be locked up together. But what a way to go, eh? Can shave with what we want. So thank you so much for watching. And hope you've had a fantastic weekend with some good shaves. And again, thanks for all your support your comments and messages and um, it's very much appreciated so I'll leave you on that note so my next video will be um, probably before Wednesday and it'll be well it will be the shaved end tour and back to shaving on Wednesday and then Friday will be question and answers Q&A video the answers video so um, if you have any questions don't forget go back to my previous video Q&A don't leave the questions under this because I want to keep them all together and leave the questions under that video and I'll answer them um, in the Q&A video so thanks again have a great weekend and a good week or the start to next week and uh, I'll see you before Wednesday so uh, <laughs> in the shave then tour um, yes, yeah, so I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and don't do anything I wouldn't do. That was a good ending, has it? But I'll go anyway. I'm digging a hole. See ya. <laughs> see ya.